Tyler here with GP Knives and we're back again to take a look at the Wee Knives Snick. Let's jump right in. So the Snick is a titanium frame lock flipper. We've got a clip point style blade made from CPM 20 CV. And there are two different blade finishes. This one has the gray stone washed finish. So you can see it's a matte gray blasted with a nice tumble on there. We've got matching titanium on the handles with a shred carbon fiber inlay. And it's got a nice striking look. There is milling on the titanium to kind of highlight that inlay on the handle. And you can see it's an inset design. So helps to reduce the overall weight as well as being an open back construction. There again, reducing the weight. Inset frame lock with a hardened steel lock face insert. And that's gonna give a nice smooth operation and solid lockup. And we've got a deep carry titanium pocket clip and the SNCC comes with two different clips, one for left or one for right hand carry. And that is because of the asymmetrical design. So keeps with the sweeping lines of the handle. And we'll take a look at the operation here. So you can see that it does work as a left-handed knife, even though the frame lock is set up for right-handed users. Nice snappy deployment with the ball bearing pivot. And as with all Wii knives now, they have a ceramic ball bearing pivot and ceramic detent for minimal maintenance there. 20 CV is gonna deliver good edge retention and corrosion resistance. So great everyday carry knife. And we'll set this down and grab a couple of other knives to take a look at for size comparison. We have the Paramilitary 2 from Spyderco. As you can see, similar size here. And then the Hinderer Knives XM18 3.5 inch. So overall, the lengths are gonna be fairly similar on these. The Snick is about a half ounce lighter than the Paramilitary 2, coming in at about 3.3 ounces. And it's a full two and a half ounces lighter than the XM18. And we'll take a quick look here. You can see the blade stock thickness on these two. Uh, you're looking at about 0.12 inches on the SNCC and 0.14 on the Paramilitary 2. Handle thickness is actually going to be about the same on these two. While the SNCC has a bit more of a contoured feel, so it feels a bit slimmer in the hand. And then take a look at the XM18 3.5 inch. So you can see much thicker in the blade and handle. And... A really nice thing about the SNCC here, you've got a similar blade length with a bit more cutting edge compared to the PM2, and then a smaller handle footprint for a nice slim carry there. So next up, we'll take a look at the different variations available for the SNCC. This one is the same blade and handle finish, that blasted gray stonewash with black G10 inlays. We've got, again, the same blade and handle finish. This one with green canvas micarta inlays. We've got another G10 here. This is the black stone wash. So you can see it has a black coating with a nice tumbled finish on there and jade green G10. Matching black handle and handle hardware. And then on the back, the spacers and the lanyard pin are going to be anodized gold. And then we've got the matching clip on there as well. Another in the black stone wash, we've got the wood handle inlay. And then the star of the show here, we have the premium high-end version. And this one is a Dama steel blade with black titanium and a Timascus handle inlay. So really upping the game here in terms of the premium style and materials with the Dama steel and the Timascus inlays. So these are gonna be a bit more premium in the price and a bit more limited in the availability, but overall the same great design 
and the same great function. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and the Wee Knives Snick. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like and subscribe below and follow us on social media for updates on all new products.